If energy is neither created nor destroyed, everything you will ever want is already here. It is simply a matter of choosing the thoughts which will put you into harmonious vibration with that which you desire. My soul vibrates to the childlike freedom of traveling to a new place, taking in all the colors, smells, languages, and dropping into a meditation on the senses everywhere I go. Complete freedom and adventure at every corner, taking trains to unknown places, breathing in the cool, crisp air of Japanese forests, the crunching of the snow, the peace and surrender when leaves fall gently to the earth, rooftop sunsets, still and heavenly. <laughs> My soul vibrates to the purity of animals, waking up to the sound of crickets and birds in a sanctuary of green. Surrendering to the vast stillness of nature. And friends I can be goofy with. Sisters I can caress and cuddle and just love. channel thank you so much for being here it means the world to me that we're hanging out again and today I'm so excited to talk about manifestations man because I had a an epitome yesterday when I went for a morning walk first of all I was blissed out because of how beautiful it was and how beautiful this existence is I mean the Sun I could feel it on my skin and it was just beaming and the trees like looked so much more green than I had ever seen them be like the colors yesterday were just so much more vibrant and I felt truly grateful to be able to witness colors and I went to stay down at the park and finish reading this book that I've been reading for a few weeks I had an epiphany that I am a prism and that maybe we're all prisms of light and I can make other people's dreams come true basically <laughs> like I feel that if I were a crystal that I'd be a quartz crystal because they refract light they turn light into rainbows and they also are really good for manifesting and tapping into the psychic realms. Yeah, I just thought that we would open this conversation today and talk about my personal deepest heart's desires and yearnings and things that I'm trying to manifest into my life. I think it's so important to know what you want because then you know what to work for and know 
what to look for and what signs to listen to if you have a clear idea of what you're seeking in this life. And of course, the main thing that I'm seeking is liberation from within. I mean, there's so many different things that you can manifest, like you can manifest material objects or friends or letting go of certain energies and embracing new ones. And that's probably one of my favorite things to manifest and wish for. It's just inner peace, truly. Like if you just don't wanna watch this video, I'm just trying to be happy inside. I know not to put myself in situations where my mental health would be truly tested. Like I can have a schedule, I can go to school, I can do work, I can clock in, clock out type of thing. But if it's going to be like killing my soul, it's just not for me, so. Yeah, I mostly work freelance in the moment. Get some water. Here's a little haul for you guys. I thrifted these really cute cups that have kind of like rainbows on them. And they are just such a nice yellow color. They're very art deco and they remind me of Wes Anderson. Okay, last thing before we really dive in is that I just got extractions on my face, which means I got my pimples popped. So I have a bunch of little red scars on my face and that's why. Didn't really feel like putting on makeup, but yeah, there's just some red dots from getting my pimples popped. So I'm just going to be speaking my visions to you guys and maybe have some photos on the screen. And I just want to, I guess, inspire you to do this for yourself. And every night before you go to sleep, tap into that channel of almost fantasy, but wishing. I don't know if you guys believe in wishing upon a shooting star, but I definitely do that all the time. And I believe that you can make wishes anytime and you can create your own spells and your own rituals. You don't need to buy a spell book because mostly it's just about intention and you can make your own little ritual for wishing on something or letting go of something. Some of my friends like to write down what they're trying to let go of and burn it and, and do a meditation with that. Or you can light a candle and that is the lighting of the candle is like setting this intention and adding fuel to the fire of this flame within you something like that you can wish on different moon cycles so I totally believe that we should all make wishes anytime we feel called and not just on our birthdays and on shooting stars but it's just really important to know what you want so that you can see what you can achieve from now until then. We can die at any moment, but for most of us, time will pass and we will exist on into the future for a few more years or a few more decades, however long we live. The future will come and the present will eventually be the past. And there's this quote that I really like that goes, how old will you be when you learn to master guitar? The same age you would be if you didn't. If you practice guitar every single day from now until the time that you're 60, you're gonna be so good at guitar. And even if you didn't practice guitar, you're still gonna turn 60, except you're just not gonna have that skill or that hobby to enjoy. So yeah, just kind of exactly what I was saying before. Time will pass. It's your choice what to do in between this bracket, in between your first and your last breath. And I think that's such an amazing thing to think about because you know, a lot of the times we are either being really present or we're obsessing about the near future or the past. You can really do so much and make so much progress if you have an intention for the next, I don't know, 20 years of your life. Let's say that intention is to say yes to love. Like think about how much love you can invoke in your life if your only intention for the next however long you live is just to feel and accept and bring love into your life. Like that's incredible. So I really like putting things into that kind of perspective. And I would just like to begin with, I am a homebody, as most of you know, and I love making my space like a sanctuary. Just cute little things that make me feel happy. Someone told me that it's natural for us to want to surround ourselves with beauty, and I take this to a very deep level because I want to surround myself with beautiful things, obviously, but I also like to surround myself with beautiful people and beautiful films and beautiful music and that is a way to have a beautiful life. I just want to surround myself with very sweet things and hopefully that'll help me just be sweet to myself. So in my future, I do not care if I have a big house or a small house. I just know that whatever space I have, I want it to have wood floors because I love the feeling in the fall time with cold wood floors and just getting out of bed and you get these like slight chills and it just feels so crisp and cool. I really love that feeling. Wood floors and big windows with big curtains and I just wake up out of bed in the morning and feel the slight cool crisp fall air on my skin 
and walk on my hardwood floors to open these curtains and it's just overlooking a beautiful forest and I just see foliage and green vibrant colors everywhere and I take a deep breath and it's like the most nourishing breath that I've ever taken it's just like just true peace and I don't know do you guys realize that sometimes you can take a really deep breath and it's so easy to get a full nourishing breath and other times specifically when you're anxious it's like your breathing is so shallow I really want to in my future live a life where like every breath is just so deep and nourishing and rich and it's just easy to get to that place of like a deep breath into the tummy rather than like having to work towards it or like remind myself to breathe deeply. I just really think that every breath will be so nourishing and fresh from the trees outside. So yeah, I, I need to live near some kind of forest. I love New York, but I don't think it's for me forever, like at all. And I would love to have a garden in my front yard and some dirt that I can just dance on. And I really want to dance with my children in my front yard and teach them how to garden. And in my home, I really, when I have a family, want there to be music, like so much music all the time, like beautiful Latin music and from all over the world, just different cultural music. And I want to dance. I want to dance with my kids and have mornings filled with laughter. I feel like movement is such a beautiful way to get out of your head and into your body, which is so important because a lot of our problems arise at the level of the mind. So it's good to like drop into the body and just experience the feeling of joy and so I really love starting my mornings off that way and I just think when I have kids we're just gonna dance it up and play and just start off our morning with that kind of ritual to hopefully carry on that joy throughout the day and celebrate being alive and waking up once again so I totally see that and we'll be dancing in the garden barefoot and like playing with little worms and saving them and when I was little, whenever I saw a worm on the street, and I still do this, I move them into the dirt because otherwise the sun will basically fry them. <laughs> so I think my kids will have fun playing with bugs because I did, you know. And that, that alone is like all I need. Bring light beings into this world and um, create a safe space, which is my home. And have all of my friends and family come over. And I have this vision of this big long wooden table in some kind of vineyard or field and it's just filled with the people that I love and who I get to share my love with and they're all barefoot and they're all just laughing and talking and they just look so vibrant and glowy and I'm walking over with a big wooden bowl of salad I just like sit on the head of the table and I place it down and I serve them and I'm just looking to my left and my right and just feeling so much love in my heart yeah that feels so good to even speak and to think about and it, it's making me tear up because it's like feeding the people that you love. I think that's one of the highest forms of gratitude is really truly nourishing the people who you're so thankful for. I love hosting and I, I think that my motherly instincts are just so there but I think it's part of my dharma to do this and to be a mother because growing up my experiences were just a little bit bumpier than there's no comparison but just they were just bumpy and that made me see the way that I want to raise my kids in a completely different way because I want to do the things that I didn't receive of course and I feel like most of us are carrying around our traumas or experiences from when we were younger and using that to help guide us toward what we want and what we don't want you know like so many of us don't want to do the things that our parents have done and I think that my upbringing and my family was such a beautiful lesson and I'm so grateful for all of my experiences, no matter how shitty they may have been at the time and how painful. I'm so grateful because I have learned so much what it means to be a good nurturer and the importance of empowering young boys and girls. Just give so much love to the people in my life, basically. And I love everyone in my life so deeply and everyone who is in my life, like I will do anything for them and help their dreams come true like to the fullest extent and expression of what they want. I'm a ride or die kind of person, I'm a Scorpio, so um, I don't even know where that rant started. I just, I'm really excited for that and it's something that my being just really yearns for and like really vibrates to this feeling of making a home and a safe space basically. It's like, it's my mission, I think. One of my missions in life. I really would love to get good at piano. I love classical piano and it's so soothing. It's also like seductive and sultry and I think our minds work differently when we're playing music and reading music 
and I really would love to learn how to read music again because it's literally like learning a whole new language and knowing how to speak this whole new language in the form of notes and sound. And also sound is vibration and it can be incredibly healing. So I just love the piano so much. I have a mini keyboard that's electronic, but this fall I'm gonna take piano lessons. So I really just every year of my life want to immerse myself in learning piano and getting better at it and hopefully by the time I'm like 50 I'll be really good playing like my favorite classical songs and it'll just be really easy. <laughs> this is part of my mental health plan because I get seasonal depression so I just have like some things that I'm gonna do to help combat that like going for morning walks no matter what the weather is like, I can always bundle up and be warm and then immersing myself in learning something new because it's a skill that I'll be improving on and that I can put my energy towards and an appointment in the form of a lesson that I'll be able to go to and like get outside and get myself to because I'll be paying for it. And I don't know if you've ever been to Washington Square Park, but there's this grand piano and it's not always there, but a lot of the times it's there in this one pathway into Washington Square Park and they play the most beautiful songs and there's like kids playing and people sitting, eating their picnics, listening to the piano and there's the beautiful fountain and the man like blowing these big bubbles and it's all just so pleasant and heavenly and I would love to be able to play grand piano there because that's one of my favorite parks. In the future, I would like to live an even more sustainable life. Basically, my form of manifestation is kind of like goal setting because I have a goal and then I know that I can just take some steps to get there. So. I feel like I'm a pretty practical person even though I love the ether realms and I love the magic and mystery and wonder behind everything. I'm also really practical. I like to ask questions. I like to get to the bottom of things. So when I think of manifestation, I don't just like think that I deserve anything just because I thought it. But yeah, it's just like an intention and a goal setting type situation. But in the future, I really want to own some land so that I can be even more sustainable and grow my own food. I would just, I already like kind of do meditations around my food. And every time before I eat, I place it in front of my eyes, like at eye level. And I'm just like, thank you earth. Thank you sun so much for this beautiful food abundance. Thank you for your colors and I breathe it in and I do this because I want to drop into my senses before I eat so like visually I like to have so much gratitude for the colors and the smell of it and I take my first bite just really like being present with the textures and then of course breathing into my stomach to help my digestion and keeping my spine straight like all of these things are little things I do when I eat and it just makes the experience so much more mindful and it's like a meditation so yeah. I think that would just increase even more if I was growing my own food. I just want to keep living a conscious life and stick with my practices. I have literally no idea what's going to happen in my life, which is so exciting. And I'm not afraid. Here's the thing. I've never been afraid of like shit hitting the fan, basically, because I've had some really rough moments in life, really broke moments, really dangerous moments, really sad moments, moments where I was being abused. and. I survived all of it and learned so much and I'm so happy now so I know that literally anything that happens I can withstand because as sensitive as I am I am I can take a beating you know so whatever will happen in my future I just know that it's gonna teach me a lesson and I don't have fear around I don't know bad bad things happening I guess I don't really see it that way I can always return back to my true self Whenever anything gets heated, I know that the stillness is always there for me to access. So I'm just going to keep that one in my little tool belt. Is this cute right now? Should I just take this off? It's so yellow. But I think energetically, I really would like to release this fear I have of not being worthy of the people in my life, of not being cool enough, or I always... Anytime I hang out with my friends, I'm just like, why would they want to hang out with me? Like, I have this attitude about it and I'm not nice to myself about the people in my life. Like, I just feel like I put everyone on a pedestal and convince myself that everyone is better than me or everyone is doing something way more important than me and that I'm below everyone, especially men. Um, which is another thing that I've been healing, but it just happens with my friends. I just think my friends are doing such amazing things and that I'm so lucky to be hanging out with them. Like, <laughs> I have trouble feeling worthy of the people in my life or feeling good enough. And just putting everyone else on a higher pedestal than myself 
So I would really like to just let go of that and be able to see the amazing person that I am and I do have so much to give to a friendship and to a partnership and to this world to stop doubting myself and stop having that conversation with myself that's just like why does this person want to hang out with me it's like he told me of course people want to hang out with you like own your power be okay with saying that you're a fun person or whatever it is I don't know I think a lot of people have trouble complimenting themselves or just being able to see the gift that they truly are to this world. Owning your power and your gifts is a gift to every single being in your life. It's so important to do that. And I know that, but it's still really hard to. And I am for the most part, but it's just this little conversation that arises right before I hang out with anyone. What I would like to bring in, because when you're manifesting, you can't just focus on what you're trying to get rid of. You have to tune your vibration to that of what you're attracting. So I want to bring in the feeling of just true empowerment of being a fully embodied woman. And to me, that just means accepting all of my flaws and also everything that makes me beautiful and not apologizing or feeling bad for who I am. Not in an egoic sense where like nothing can knock me down, like I want to be humble always, but understand the gift that I am to this world and that everyone is. Yeah, I just really want to make everyone in my life shine, truly. Like if I am a prism of light, like I just want to embrace all the beings around me and emulate and illuminate their light even more. Like that's what I want to do in this lifetime. And like I said, it's my upbringing. My upbringing really made me feel like humans can be so tender and they just need love sometimes so um i know the level of love i feel like that some people need and i want to give it to them i just feel like i learned what people need to feel loved in this life and to be heard and seen and that's what i really want to do and i'm gonna cry right now i'm just gonna cry and let it out it just makes me emotional because <laughs> i think everyone is so worthy of love and i just want to show them that so that's what I'm trying to do and through loving myself I know that alone is like so healing to the people around me I've been realizing that the most important thing that I can do is just honor who I am already and just become the highest version of myself and and not compare myself to anyone so I'm just gonna keep doing that and I think that we all need to stop looking outside of ourselves for the signs and the answers and start looking within and just listening and feeling and listening to that voice in our head that wants to help us bring more light into our life because I'm sure we all get those little impulses of like, oh, I could be doing this to make my life better, but then we let our habits take over. Like, oh, I could wake up at 5 a.m. and get my yoga and meditation done before work, but I, I don't want to go to sleep early because I love staying up and binge watching YouTube or whatever the habit is. And I... I feel like it's so important to honor those impulses that are going to help you improve your quality of life. And once you heal yourself, it's so true that you can hold space for other people to heal. I feel like I've been able to do that so much more and so much healing has happened in my life over the past year even. Oh, last winter, I was binge eating so much. I gained like 10 pounds. I was cutting myself so much. My, my skin was breaking out so bad and it all started because I was just totally hating myself and obviously I've been struggling with self-harm since high school and it came back really bad last winter but this past year I have gained so many tools to combat that and never have to go back to that and so many coping methods. I have just felt so much love and joy and bliss and truth and knowingness and I'm just so grateful for literally everything in my life, however painful, however beautiful, I'm just so grateful for it all. I think that the more that I'm grateful, the more that I surrender to everything that's happened and not try to repress it or fight it, just um, the clearer that my channel is going to become to manifest more beautiful things in my life. I just want to keep learning. <laughs> that was just like a real roller coaster of emotion right there, but I want to keep learning about myself and I want to keep learning more of these amazing practices that are so ancient and beautiful and so scientific at the same time. I mean, science is now catching up to so much that the yogis have been doing for thousands of years and I just wanna keep learning more about them because I do feel the effects on my psyche when I'm out in nature or when I meditate. It's not like I believe in some intense religion, but like I just feel the effects and everything that I do 
is helping me understand myself and that's why I love this spiritual path that I'm on because it's not about anything outside of myself it's just about seeing who I really am and polishing my stone of awareness and it just makes so much sense to me because I can feel it I don't actually need any scientific research to prove the way that I'm feeling I don't need any book to answer the questions of my soul like I can literally just go within and just feel everything that's there and have all the answers that I need. I'm just gonna keep embarking on this path and being open and not falling into dogma, doing more teacher trainings. I wanna do my second teacher training this year or in 2019 and hopefully go to India. So I guess the last manifestation that I'll share is that I want to keep finding the wonder and magic and mystery in everything. Continue having the imagination of a child and seeing this world through the eyes of a child because I really do. I'm just so excited by so many things. Yeah, those are some of my manifestations. I hope you guys like this video and I hope that it inspired you to get clear on what you want because that's the first and most important step is to just know what you want. I would recommend starting this energetically. What is it that you want to be rid of and what is it that you would like to embody? What what would you like to feel in your life? And another amazing thing about manifestation is that it helps you get to know if something would be energetically aligned with you. Maybe some people really want fame and riches, but if you think about walking out of your house and people photographing you, the second after you wake up, you're just trying to grab a cup of coffee, people starting rumors about you, people just all over the world trying to know about your personal life, like that doesn't sound too fun. It just helps you see if something is really worth pursuing. Yeah, it's like acts of willpower um, against your habits that can really make you see the potential that you have. And for me, overcoming self-harm, that was like an incredible act of willpower. It's just been a crazy and amazing journey so far. Thank you guys for tuning in and for watching this journey and for supporting me and for sending me love. And I send you guys love all the time. So if you're ever walking down the street and you just feel an incredible wave of love overcoming you, it might be for me just saying, I'm just eternally grateful for you and I feel like we're all just here existing at the same time and that's so incredible and I feel like this is a community and I just want all of us to keep bringing each other up and rising up and stepping fully into ourselves. So look at your core beliefs. If anything is not bringing you to your highest self, then rewrite those. Think about what you want to attract energetically and just be so grateful for all the big and little things in your life and I promise you you'll attract more of them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!